With a glut of products out in the market, consumers cannot take quality for granted, particularly when a product's failure can result in injury or even death. Last week, we looked at car glass. Now, we get a rare glimpse into the kind of testing they undergo to ensure end-user safety. Good morning, we'll see you viewers. I'm here with Pia, Jeannie, and Evelyn, who will take us through what it takes for glass to be certified in the Philippines. They have a line of tests, which we'll be seeing later on, but we're gonna start off with something very interesting. So Pia, uh, what are we gonna do first? Okay, so we will be conducting a head form test. Okay. This is one of my favorite tests yes. because it shows you the difference of laminated glass that is used for your windshield. Okay. So uh, we'll be placing a, a piece of glass which is, usually, which is in the front of your car. Okay. And we will be dropping a 10 kilogram head form. This head form simulates, of course, a real human head. Yes. What would be the ideal result? Ideally, that the head form should not pass through the glass. That will show you that the passenger or the driver that's inside the vehicle will not fly out of the car on a head-on collision. You will be dropping okay. the head form from rest. Uh, for this size, we will use a 1.5 meter distance. So for protection of my girly hands, they've given me some gloves. And we're gonna do it now. Here goes the head form test. All the way to here is 1.5 meters. 1.5 meters. So this is the standard for this kind of uh, windshield. Head form test, take one. One, two, three. That's it. Oh, wow! Is that the desired result there? Yes, definitely. As you can see, the head did not pass through. This sample is a very good sample because you don't even have a hole. Okay. It is allowed to have a small hole or a tear, but you can see that this one has none. Okay. We also lift the glass and we look at the other side of the glass to see if there's any fragments that detach from the other side. And there's not. Yeah, it's yeah. very clean. If it doesn't break, it absorbs the impact very well. So that means the impact wasn't absorbed by your head. Uh, okay. It was absorbed yeah. by the glass. Agreed, great. Okay, test number two is called the uniformity test. Tia, walk us through it. All right, so this is our heat uniformity test. This is a non-destructive test, so no breaking of glass oh, for thank you. God. Basically, this is for zone-tempered and fully-tempered glass. That means the zone-tempered windshield or the fully-tempered backlight or side lights. Mm -hmm. You just place the glass here where we have a polarized viewer, and then you move the viewer from left to right and back and you observe the patterns of the glass. I see some like regular like patterns there. What do those mean? Okay, it's very important that the patterns are regular mm -hmm. and that we don't see large patches of a rainbow color or a white color. Mm -hmm. It has to be very regular. It usually looks like a checkered pattern or sometimes stripes. That will tell you where the glass was heated and cooled. Okay. So because tempering is heating and cooling, mm -hmm. and it's very important to have it uniform. Unfortunately, we can't show you all the tests at all glass, but we do have time for one more that involves dropping a steel ball. This is also a ball drop test. The ball is still the 227 gram steel ball. And this time, we will drop it from 2 meters. 2 meters. Yeah, this is a tempered glass. And the tempered glass, which is 3.25 mm thick, that's usually on your side windows, okay. Okay. it should not break at so that height. So, dapat walang crack din, walang nothing. Walang it should crack. be able to withstand the impact of the ball. Yes. Okay. So, let's do it. So, let's see. Ready? Game. One, two, three. 
So you can see, after that uh, test, the steel ball hit this from a height of 2 meters. No scratch at all, see? So, Pia, what does that tell you? That means that this is a properly tempered glass and that it passes the safety standards of the impact test. Okay, so this kind of glass would be ideal for the side uh, windows of a vehicle? Yes, side. And then when it's a little bit thicker, that's what they use for the back. All right. After a battery of tests that adhere to international standards, all glass releases its results directly to the DTI for evaluation. The DTI may then issue an ICC certificate to the importer. It's good to know that companies like All Glass Laboratories Incorporated are working hard behind the scenes to make sure that the products that hit our market today are safe and of good quality. For Real TV, this has been Cap Maceda Aguila. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? There you have it guys, we just tested the all-new Kia Sorento and yes, like I said, they really do have the power to surprise. We have the pros and cons of the vehicle, there you have it, it's up to you to judge, it's up to you to try it out and see where it goes from there. Anyways guys, if you missed any of our episodes, just log on to facebook.com slash philstarwheelstv. I'll see you guys next week here on ABS Event Sports in Action. This has been Matteo Guricelli on your guide to life in the fast lane. This is Wheels TV. Take care.